Puget Sound History is proud to bring you another glimpse into your local history. This is the first in a series of videos we have named History in Color. Nally's Fine Foods or Nally's Fine Food Products or Nally's Incorporated, whatever the name, Nally's made its home in Tacoma for 92 years. Now owned by Conagra Brands, they have left Tacoma for good, but will never leave the hearts of many. Marko Naranich, a Croatian immigrant from Lika District, arrived in New York in 1903. He had followed his brothers Lois and Unknown over to the New World. Once here, he changed his name to Marcus Nelly. Lois's son named his son Marko after his great-grandpa Marcus. Unable to speak English, and with a mere 15 cents in his pocket, at 13 year old, years old, he headed to Montana where his brothers were. In Butte, Montana, Marcus and his brothers worked in a copper mill. He learned to speak English sometime around this time. Next, he landed a job in Butte as a cook and began to fry potatoes and sell them in bags for five cents as a side project. Marcus moved to Anaconda, where he worked as a meat packer. He once said about this time as a meat packer, I learned to cut meat, but best of all, I learned how to figure. From Anaconda, Marcus moved to Chicago. He went to work in a hotel kitchen. He was dishwasher, busboy, fry cook, pantry man, and finally, chef. In 1913, he got a job as chef on the Olympian train on the Milwaukee Railroad Chicago to Tacoma route, which opened in 1909. He loved the Northwest and felt at home here, so he decided to stay and make Tacoma his new home. He got a job in the kitchen of the Bonneville Hotel on Tacoma Avenue, and this is where the real story begins. Built in 1888 and demolished in 1966, the Bonneville was located at 7th and E Street and was a landmark of the time. Mr. Nally lived there in apartment number 3 where he worked on a new food craze just starting to sweep the east coast called Saratoga Chips. Saratoga Chips were invented in New York by George Speck known as Crumb story goes that Crumb was a cook at a restaurant when a wealthy man ordered their specialty, fried potatoes. When the man got his order, he refused it as it was too soggy and sent it back two times. Crumb was angered and sliced the potatoes so thin and added a lot of salt hoping they would be inedible. To his surprise, the man ordered more and the others saw the man order the others who saw the man ordered some too. Soon word spread and they became quite famous but Crumb got, never got a patent for his idea and died in 1914. Marcus Nally began making his chips with Puyallup potatoes and selling them to stores and households out of a basket. Marcus married his first wife Elizabeth Cook in 1914 in Seattle. In 1915, their son Robert was born. In 1917, he registered for the draft for World War I. He claimed exemption because he had a child and wife to support. He also admits to not being a citizen at this point. In 1918, he rented a room next to his apartment for $5 a month and began making other food items. Soon he borrowed money to buy hand-operated equipment to keep up with demand. Herman Lay from Lay's Potato Chips started his company in 1932 selling potato chips quite some time after Nelly. History gets blurry here, but at least 1923, Nelly Fine Food Products had moved into a building at 601, 604 South Sprague Avenue now a KFC and strip mall. At his new home location, he had branched out 
to include pickles, chili, mayonnaise, honey, syrup, and salad dressing. Up at 4 a.m. and off to work to start up the factory, then load the delivery truck and make deliveries. Mr. Nally had a busy schedule. His second son, George Nally, was born in 1924. Somewhere between 1924 and 1930, George and Elizabeth were divorced. September of 1924, Nally showed off their merchandise at the South Tacoma Fair. The third annual fair was held in the Deluxe Motor Building at 56 in South Tacoma Way. With business booming, it was time to expand once more. In February 1930, a brand new factory was opened at Portland Avenue and D Street. A warehouse and office opened in Seattle at 3201 4th Avenue that same year. 1930 census says Marcus lived alone and was a manufacturer of food condiments. In 1931, Tacoma Chamber of Commerce named him first citizen of Tacoma. Somewhere between 1930 and 1936, Marcus married Francis. They would be married until his death. They built a house in 1936 at 3106 North 29th Street. Here they are relaxing in their living room with their dog. Here is what that house looks like now. During the 1930s, Marcus would say, this is, the, this is only the beginning. He was predicting the future. Even the Great Depression couldn't stop the growth of this Tacoma powerhouse. In the late 1930s, Nally's built a farm on what is now Nally Island in the Skokomish Estuary. I can find very little information on this farm. There is an effort underway to return it to its natural state, removing ditches and dikes that were installed for the farm. Once again needing room to expand, Nally moved its operation to the 3000 block of South Lawrence. They remained there until leaving Tacoma. The new factory houses a continuous chip fryer for maximum output. After a while, the area became known for its pickle aroma and was dubbed Nally Valley by locals. In 1949, Nally's had a big 31st anniversary party at the now 8-year-old plant. They had a tour of the factory followed by a buffet. 1950, Nally had its Chevrolet sedan delivery truck on display in South Tacoma Motor Company's showroom. Nally's also sponsored baseball, basketball, and had their own bowling league. In 1952, Nally's, Lumberjack, Nall Nally's Lumberjacks football team got first place in the Midget League competition. Here we see Nally's Bowling League getting together at North End Alleys. Halloween 1952, Nally's created different bags of candy they sold for 39 cents a bag. Nally's Daffodil Parade float in 1952 at 9th and Pacific. They won first place in the commercial division. In 1953, Nally sold the Puyallup Avenue building to the Salvation Army. It is now the Summit Public Health. Or, it is now the Summit Public School Olympus Campus as of 2015. In 1953, Nally's processed 11 million pounds of potatoes into potato chips, 10 million pounds of cucumbers into Nally's pickles. Marcus Nally passed away in 1962. Francis followed in 1963. They are both buried at Mountain View Memorial Park in Lakewood, Washington. Marf Marcus left behind a thriving company that had expanded to 10 potato chip plants and offices and eventually was sold to a corporation and in 2011 shut down its Tacoma site. 
The chili and the mayo remain, as do the memories. Whether it's the pickle smell or you or a loved one were employed there, it will remain in the minds of many for years to come. A common theme, I am sure, we will see in these videos will be that the sands of time sometimes wash businesses into obscurity. I will showcase one that is still in operation soon in an upcoming video. Here are a few other photos that didn't make it into the video, such as different products that were made, like the Tang salads dressing. It kind of gives a person a weird thought. Until next time, this is PSH. Go out and make your own history. And please, like me on Facebook at Puget Sound History.